Hi everyone, welcome to the session. This is a continuation of my uh, discussion on elimination of intercompany transaction and elimination of unrealized profit. So I uh, made a video previously on this elimination of uh, intercompany transaction and elimination of unrealized profit. Before you watch this video, I would highly recommend you to go and watch my previous video and I have given the link above. Okay. So in my previous video, uh, I made an assumption that the parent company had sold goods to subsidiary company and where subsidiary company had not sold goods to the external customers. Okay. In that scenario, how the transaction would be recorded in the parent company's books? subsidiary companies books as well as the group financial statements okay now in this uh, particular video okay i slightly i have slightly changed the assumption so what is the assumption subsidiary company has sold half of the goods purchased from its parent company for 30 dollars okay so half of the goods have been sold for 30 dollars okay so, what is the total sales made by parent company to subsidiary company? So, parent company sold 90 worth of goods for $150. This $150 consists of $100 sold to external customers and $50 sold to the subsidiary company. So, therefore, the total sales value will be $150. Okay? Of which $50 is to subsidiary company okay now subsidiary company of which this 50 dollar purchase half of the goods were sold so which is 25 dollars so therefore the remaining stocks will be so this is the remaining stock will be 25 dollars okay now let's try to record all these transactions in the parent company the separate financial statement Subsidiary company is a separate financial statement and the group financial statements. Okay. Now, when you take the parent company, the total sales value will be $150 because they sold 100 plus 50, that will be $150. There's no opening stock. The total purchases was $90 because they bought $90 worth of goods. The entire goods have been sold. So, therefore, uh, that will be. Uh, the purchases will be 90 and the closing stock will be 0 because the, the entire goods have been sold. So therefore the cost of goods sold will be 90. The profit recognized by the parent company will be $60. Okay. So when it comes to the subsidiary company, in their separate financial statement, their sales will be $30 now. Okay. Because they sold half of the goods for $30. Okay. So the sales value will be 30, there is no opening stock, their purchases will be $50 because they bought it from parent company. Of which $25 worth of goods still lying in subsidiary company's books. So therefore their cost of sales will be 25. So therefore the profit recognized by subsidiary company will be $5. Okay. So when you take the total, total of parent company as subsidiary. $180 uh, worth of sales, the purchases $140, the closing stock will be still $25 and the total profit is $65. But as far as the group is concerned, as I told you in my previous video, you need to eliminate uh, the, the intercompany transactions, intercompany sales, intercompany purchases and also if there are goods lying in either parent company books or subsidiary company's books, whatever the profit included in that stocks will have to be eliminated will have to be removed because as far as the group is concerned group is considered as a separate legal entity separate entity so therefore the group can record only the sales made to external customers within the group uh, all the transactions will have to be eliminated will have to be removed okay so in that uh, basis on that basis let's uh, try to uh, try to uh, identify the group uh, figures. Now we will take 150 plus 30 which is 180. This includes the intercompany transaction of $50. Okay. So parent has sold $50 worth of, uh, $50 worth of goods to the subsidiary company. So therefore you need to uh, remove the, the, the more from the uh, uh, 
the 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 can subscribe to books. Okay, so the group financials you need to remove this fifty dollars. Okay, so here you have to debit. I have already explained why you need to debit. So uh, if you want to uh, understand the, the the concept of uh, debiting here, so what you can do is you can go and watch my previous video. Okay, so one eighty uh, minus fifty will be one thirty dollars. Then the opening stock. There is no opening stock. As far as the group is concerned, when the purchases ninety plus fifty is one forty. Okay, so this consists of fifty dollar worth of uh, intercompany transaction. You need to credit the purchases. Okay, so thereby your total purchases will be ninety dollars. Then the closing stock. The parent doesn't have any stocks. Subsidiary company has twenty five dollar worth of goods. Okay, so can I take this twenty five dollar worth of goods here? In the group financials, you can't take twenty five dollars because that carries a profit which is unrealized. Okay, as far as the group is concerned, you can't record any unrealized profit. So how much is the profit included in this twenty five? Because if you calculate the gross profit margin here, so twenty divided by fifty forty. So this is the subsidiary purchases. Okay, this is the sales made by parent company fifty dollars. The cost of goods sold thirty. And the profit was twenty. So therefore, the gross profit margin is forty percent. Okay. So therefore, if you take this twenty-five, the profit margin included in this twenty-five dollar is ten dollars. Okay. So therefore, this ten dollar worth of profit cannot be recognized. So therefore, you need to debit the cost of goods sold by ten. So twenty-five minus ten will be fifteen. Uh, So thereby, you will have seventy-five uh, dollars. That will be the cost of goods sold, and this will be uh, this will be how much? Fifty-five dollars. Okay. So one thirty minus seventy-five. That will be fifty-five dollars. Okay. So that will be the group profit. However, the total profit recognized by payer will be sixty. And the subsidiary will be five. The total should be sixty-five. Uh, However, the group financials you need to recognize only fifty-five dollars uh, worth of profit. Uh, since the profit is recognized by the parent company, uh, the parent company has recognized sixty dollars uh, worth of profit. Okay, so this profit includes ten dollars, which is unrealized profit. So this is what we have removed from here. So therefore. Uh, exactly, the profit that can be recognized by parent company will be fifty dollars. Fifty plus the profit earned by the subsidiary company is five dollars. So therefore, the group has to recognize only fifty-five dollars. Okay. So this is how you record uh, the intercompany uh, transactions and elimination of unrealized profit. Okay. So with that, I will conclude the session. I will see you soon with another video. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.